artistic process. How is art made? Viewers often only see the finished product, a perfected end stage that hides days, months, and even years of work. The myth of artistic genius does not allow for intermediary processes. But artistic ideas evolve, sometimes dramatically, and art does not exist in a vacuum. Sketches and preparatory drawings provide a rare glimpse into an artist's thought process. In many cases, a project changes media, even moving from two dimensions to three. The Chazen's collections offer several case studies, groups or pairs of objects that visually record the stages of a developing artwork. Theodore Rojak transforms his conception of a moth from two dimensions into three. Rojak plays with the evolution of a moth from a larva in the curving forms on the left of the sheet. Soft bristles spin off of the larva as they seem to almost crawl off the page. That same movement appears in the wings of the largest moth figure, whose energy vibrates in the sharp strokes of the ink. The fixity of bronze leaves no room for transformation and eliminates the softness of the larvae. The energy and movement, however, do translate across media, with the wings seemingly caught in the midst of a flap. The controlled chaos of the pen is materialized in the swarming masses of metal between the wings. Louise Bourgeois was heavily inspired by the childhood trauma of her father's infidelity during her mother's terminal illness. She made this triptych to accompany two sculptural installations called Red Room, Child, and Red Room, Parents, representing her relationship with her parents. Although the overall configuration remains the same, Bourgeois clarifies her vision between the preparatory study and the final triptych. The studio is less detailed, with a more chaotic background of clashing blues and reds. An arched body, a symbol of hysteria for bourgeois, appears in each panel of the triptych. The figures are bolder in the final panels, with a defined skeletal body and a rib cage that clearly illustrates the emptiness of the figures. What does it mean to think like an artist? The artists seen here found inspiration from many places, including daily life, other artists, and the world around them. What sparks your creativity? I know I find my inspiration by spacing out and contemplating connections between random things like professional basketball, ballet, and snack foods. Is there something you do or experience that feeds your need to create? Let us know in the comments, and share your creations and inspirations with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at ChasenArtUW.